Costume. Your parents were here? Like and aerial costume. Wow. Like wow. I have no idea what you're making. But Halloween is nice to have an aerial costume. I think so. Oh, that's right. okay. I, my favorite thing I did here at Frank. Oh, I never knew the news, and I've been here since yeah, about know. two. Um, is that this, the is art, the, this is Little Lake Road. Is that the art center right there? Yeah, that's yeah. the art center. I, I so like where? Little Lake and Ford. Okay. Yeah. Um, 22, 17, and 16. Two girls and a boy. Two girls were a tree because I knew. Want some to drink? Want some to drink? Actually, when I met her, she's so interesting. I thought you were a little girl. It was really weird. So my friend Nico, who you probably met, he's the one wearing the t-shirt with my car. But um, they lived on the same land in Point Arena. And that's where I met them when I went and did the parade down there. I met her and she was like a little girl. And we just wanted to send a message out to the kids of America that you don't need drugs to have fun. <laughs> That's right. It's like, you need to do real insult to you come need, down on us. You do need drugs to do work like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big pain Yeah, but ass. that wasn't the issue. <laughs> yeah. And lots of coffee. And lots of work. Lots and of we coffee. never got stopped from Houston, Houston to Mendo. Three, three days. Wow. Yeah. But we were taking all back roads from Houston to here. It was kind of cool. I mean, it's hot. It's hot and shit. Haven't you, Adam, stop you to take photographs? Yes. Yeah. And the CHP yeah. stopped us. Yeah. It's like I was in the back seat, like, you know, like, pfft, nearly out. Not driving. No, 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 no. That was part of the deal. I'll pay for this, but somebody else has to be the mechanic and drive. <laughs> was it Michael Turner? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and he was driving, and I remember I'm in the back seat, you know, like, nodded out, and he goes, and I hear him, the car pull off the road, that kind of crunchy noise. I said, what's up? And he goes, chips. I said, no, nah, I'm not hungry, man. He goes, <laughs> and he goes, no, no, we're, we're getting pulled over. And I went, oh, that's I different. That's different? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and he came to the window and said, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could get you guys to pull off the highway because I want to take your picture for our magazine. Huh. They have a magazine called Chips. And they like to take the weird cars, pictures of the weird cars they encounter. That come through there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, or wherever they are. It's California Highway Patrol, you know. Yeah. And and so and they call them X-rays. Like that would be a black X-ray or black and gold X-ray. Mm -hmm. This would be a goldish X-ray. Nice. They usually try to find it. That would be a messy X-ray. That feature, yeah. <laughs> that one would be a color X-ray. Yeah. I don't know what they'd call it. <laughs> and I always say. Yeah, sure. Uh, will you send me a copy? <laughs> they never, ever have. No, but, of course not. I know, but, but, it, but a lot of people have. Yeah, good. I mean, I never get because I usually ask, me. at least. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Aye, aye, aye. 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 Let's see. What a beaut. Ah, whoa. <laughs> uh, free broadcast later. Okay, we're gonna go to the bathroom. Can we all go with you? No. What? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bring the camera. Oh, stop the 
not that kind of public accident. I realized we were about to need to talk anymore about aerials, bad aerials. <laughs> like, yes, okay, thank you. It's always like that though in here. I can only turn so I far. Go see art cars. Go this way. Okay. Uh. Oh wait, stop. Uh. What Good do you think? I had brakes. Uh. Oh, that's I know. As unusual as that might be. Want me to back up to you? Yeah. Where'd you? I'll where'd put you? in reverse. Uh. <laughs> Run. 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 There's an art bike. Now I'm going to take it back to the car. Okay. Can you take you better be fast though. I'm, I'm not going to be that fast. It's legal. Take care. Uh. What do you guys want Probably for the racist, background? But I like it. Yeah. Um, because the sky we is get the like the um, red square, <laughs> like the onion dome. <laughs> Where's our green screen? Nowadays screen? you could ask Absolutely. for something like that. Gentlemen. I remember screen? I was going to take my caddy to Russia. So I How about this for a background? get that photo before <laughs> I knew about Photoshop or anything. <laughs> Am I supposed to be handing something no, to you? That's really cute. No, that's Nico's oh. frog, huh? That's Aww. Earth of the Turtle. Aww, Since you have Earth so of the cute. Car, I thought you should know about Earth of the Turtle. Aww. She's a worm bin. She teaches you worms in school. I want to see it. Really? Yeah, I want to see Earth of Good. Oh, this is the kit for me. You can get in the hobby store. Yeah, right? there's that Earth chair, the Barry. Kit. There's, there's yeah. other yeah. chairs. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. You've heard the kit is also a <laughs> Earth the car. woman music. Yeah, that's right. I know who it is. Like, <laughs> butt winker. Yeah, you're just telling me. Really? It's good, Larry. Really? What was your name again? I'm assuming that's it. That's good. You got me on that. What was your name again, sir? Oh, yeah. What were you eating? Yeah, I just ate an Oreo. Oh, my God. You got yeah, like, it looks like a long, get it the other corner. It looked like you were like, it looked like Devo. No, yuck, your tongue's all like scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Do yeah, Oreos normally scare you? Or the other black ones are out there. Chew that Oreos. <laughs> <Chewed up Burris. laughs> <laughs> you got any mouthwash on you? <laughs> You've never read the ingredients in Oreos? Jesus, you no. should be scared of them too. Why would I do that? I enjoy them. That's why he's eating them. I know, I know. But he had like his whole mouth. I thought he was. Wearing really like deep that. burgundy lipstick. <laughs> because I just, I ate this girl. I, I just met her. I didn't know. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? <laughs> you ate some girl's Oreos. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, I ate her Oreos. He organized her. <laughs> yeah, I was organizing her. <laughs> I mean, helping her get organized. <laughs> <laughs> and then you left your light on. No, I just know. joking. I'm just joking. No, just <laughs> turn off too. This is it's a new camera. It's a new toy. Toy. Yeah, we need more new toys. Right, right, right. Look, you got a car. I, I know. I know. Thanks. Am I Thanks supposed to ask him questions? Yeah, yeah ask him questions. Oh, yeah. Ask him something. Yeah. Um, I asked him about how where he got all the chocolate around his mouth. Yeah. Um, that was a question, but <laughs> no, what do I want to know? know? What are you working on now, Larry? He's like, hey, Google, you can ask him anything. Um, getting you to change your mind? Um, oh, about about sleeping with you again? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's like a... Again? Oh. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was a secret. Yeah, a big secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't tell all of his girlfriends. <laughs> I don't think I have any they girlfriends. They told me. He got a long line they of told them. Me. A long line of girlfriends. But he, oh, yeah. he hates women. He does. I no, hate women? Don't hate no, he women. loves he loves women. He does. I was trying to pretend like you hated women. Yeah, yeah, I'm a misogynist. He hates women. I'm a misogynist. I hate the way they give me massages. I hate massages. <laughs> <laughs> Wish they'd go to back to college or something. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I'm like one of those women haters. I have a bunch of friends that I suspect are. Yes. Um, it's not that hard to spot, but they think they love women. Oh yeah, usually those are the ones that are the worst. I know. That's I me. I'm, I'm well aware. Terrible of it. that way. It's kind of like we give a shit 
food sticks one in whose hole right? and everybody's happy on that side because <laughs> of shit, you know. <laughs> unless of course unless you're worried course, about you're worried about who you are. Right. Et cetera, et cetera. Right, right, you right. closet case, et cetera. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Otherwise, who cares? Yeah. Well, I mean, some of us care because you end up with like diseases and stuff, and you speak know, about yourself. You don't know where that, I had them once. Been. You know, I mean, I think that you care a little bit. You know? <laughs> well, yeah, of it course. It's, it's, listen, the more information you have on pretty much any topic, probably the better and off you are. And how awful are. condoms are! Like condoms are gross. I've heard that. So I'd rather, um, I'd rather just skip it. <laughs> Isn't that terrible skip to say that. Well, no, I understand. That. Because I remember <laughs> when I used to live in Marin, in Marvelous Marin, every time I got laid, I got what Some, they called an NSU, which is yes. the clap. By non Marin was kind of full of it. Non-specific <laughs> urethritis. Every <laughs> fucking time. And I'd go to a clinic. And in those days, they were still on penicillin at that point, up till they hit six million units of penicillin, oh, which is two gigantic <laughs> horse shots right with end. a right n- big end. needle of what? Oh, the end of the oh, oh, the, no, no. For, for it, yeah, to cure your yeah, clap. Right and, the, and it was about the thickness of thick yogurt, not uh, quite royal or yeah. whatever that. I mean, what was coming out of the end of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, penicillin. Oh, no, I met the other, what gave you what the, the NSU? Right, right. Oh, that yeah, I knew it. Where I got it? No, no. Dirt. I meant, what? I meant that you knew you had it because of what was coming out the end of your. Well, oh yeah, the drip. The, you're yeah, talking about. Oh no, yeah. I thought maybe there was yogurt that was coming out. The end. <laughs> no, but yeah, there's a similarity. But you're there. But by the end of <laughs> yellow this, yogurt. But by the end of the nightmare, <laughs> I knew within hours. They say you know 12 to 72 hours before you even know you have yeah. a problem. <laughs> you Not. might. You might. Um, in my case, I was so familiar with this blood. shit. That I could feel the alien in my body instantly. within, well, not instantly, but within four or six hours. I'd feel the alien, I'd feel my antibody system just kick and go, oh, God, you know, and know I got laid last night or, <laughs> or whatever and go, oh, fuck. And then it was, at first it wasn't too bad because San Rafael had a clap clinic run by Mrs. Denenkamp. And she Denenkamp. was, she, yeah, Mrs. Denenkamp, and she was lovely. She's slapping she, the clap yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, of she course. was this English woman, who, you know, you'd go and she'd go, oh, how are we today, love, you know? And, stuff, and she was wonderful, you know, because people tended to shame people. No judgment over Yeah, no judgment, joy. none of that shit. I was trying to get her to let me have a dating bureau, you know. <laughs> Just tell me when their medications are over. Yeah, you know, right. blah, blah, blah. I know they're clean. Stuff I know like they're clean. That. Yeah, yeah. I'm clean. Let's yeah, all meet exactly, together. Exactly. As long as we know when we're done with our meds. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and eventually, in the one of the weirdest, most uh, some diabolical. Yeah, here, here's some. Yeah, here's where it gets diabolical. Okay. It's when they they close the clap. For what reason? I will never know. Maybe they thought maybe it was when Vietnam ended or something. Because all these, this weird. The no, I, I don't. Yeah, that could be. I have no idea why, because it was still a problem. <laughs> and and one day I, you know, I was like, I'm with somebody, and I'm getting really leery of sex or anything by this point. But Not oh well, bad. I think I decided stick with married women, you know. Like, like I thought that might help. Because their husbands <laughs> have the clap. It did not help. It didn't help. Didn't help. No, it did not help. Um, and, and, and I remember, you know, and the clinic's closed now, so I had to go to Marin Civic Center, you know, the Frank Lloyd Wright building. Oh, and things are not good. so, hello, how are we, love? <laughs> At the Civic Center. And, and I remember going in and... Saying, and that's like a big room with all these people in it, and the doctor doesn't even have like a fake little wall around his desk or anything, <laughs> you know. And so I sit down Pulling at down his desk, pants. and he goes, You know what? Well, you know, what's the problem? You know, what, what are you, why are you here? And I said, I've got an NSU, I need you to get it. By this time, they'd switched to tetracycline, uh-huh. um, and after you know. I, don't know, I can't tell you how many doses of tetracycline, but after enough of them to realize that it totally not just wipes out that disease, but your entire digestion, yeah. um, and you're sick for two weeks or ten days, whatever, you know, and it's like, I can't, it isn't worth it, it isn't worth it. Um, and so I said to the doctor, I said, I've got an MSU, I need to get a shot of tetracycline. 
And he said, okay, well, you know, drop your pants. I need to get a, a smear. Yeah, a swab. And I said, it's too early for that. I said, but I have had this so many times that I'm really aware of my body, and I absolutely guarantee I have an NSU, it, but not the drip yet. That isn't going to hit for another 12 hours or 24 hours. I don't know when it's going to hit, but it's not here yet. And he goes, well, we can't prescribe you know, medication for you prophylactically. We have to be able to see the evidence. They take a smear, and then they go look under a microscope, and they can see the critters. And they dark it. What's that? Yeah, they, they can see these little crawling the little things crawling. crawling around, and then they can officially give you something for it. And I said, it's too early for that. And he goes, oh, well, we can't, I can't prescribe for you unless, you know, I see the evidence. And, and then he kind of pondered, and he said, well, um, okay, just drop your pants and, like, just lean against the desk there. And I went, okay. And I was, like, 21 or something. I didn't know shit about shit, nothing about anything. I, no, I didn't go how innocent I was. But in any case, I didn't know shit. And so, and I'm like, okay. I don't know what. Well, I'm sort of leaning against his desk, and I see him like turn away, you know, and like he re he's reaching in his drawer. I have no idea what he's doing, right? And I'm kind of curious, but I still have no idea what's coming. <laughs> and uh, so I, you know, stop looking at him because I don't know what the fuck he's doing. And all of a sudden, this finger comes flashing up my ass and I like blew a load all over his desk. <laughs> and, and, and I'm like, whoa, my legs, you know, like melting wax or some shit like this. And I'm, and I'm startled, you know. And, and all the people are watching. So just, oh man, I'm just start, no I'm totally startled. And I go, I think I love you. you know, but, no, no, that's a lie. But, um, so he started going back there all the time? What? He no. Going uh, your, uh, I think I got something. Where's the doctor with the glove? Yeah, no, but yeah, exactly. No, but in, in, oh, in, and so yeah. I didn't know what a prostate was or any of that shit. And, but, and I did go, what was that? <laughs> and he got kind of embarrassed, you know, and he said, oh, it's just something we do to get a sample. They didn't yeah. want to explain it to me. <laughs> you know, like that. And I, and I went home thinking, what the fuck was that shit? Maybe I, that's what the homos are doing. I don't know. What the fuck's sticking shit up my I need to I, figure out what the fuck it was. And you kept trying to make it happen again. Well, though. I wanted to see what it was. I mean, it was a real surprise. It wasn't like I didn't even have a boner. Back he still the blew a load all over his desk. <laughs> Did it feel good? Was it a feel fuck good? Yes, okay. it felt okay. good. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. I mean, I didn't know. If there was no yeah. boner. Well, it was not. It, was, it still it was, felt good. Well, there's two separate things happening there. <laughs> Just to be information. Just making you know, sure I don't know very, what that was. Yeah, of course like, you, you wouldn't know. know but I'm telling you, there are two <laughs> separate things happening yeah. there. <laughs> one is up your butt and the other one's coming out your dick. <laughs> so, and they're yeah, related. Were you, were you, able, were you related. able to, to figure it out at some point? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I did a little research. Did it take you a while, or was it pretty immediate? <laughs> yeah, some research. Well, I went partner. home and started sticking my finger up my ass to figure out what the fuck that was. Yeah. Um, and, and I wasn't very successful with that, but I was thinking, maybe that's what the homos are doing. Yeah, so then you went out. Some, no, you I didn't do anything. I just trying to figure out. Then I read something, Ann Landers or something, probably. Ann Landers. You know, <laughs> about, you know, yeah, about a prostate, a about your orgasm. prostate gland. <laughs> Yeah. What's that? <laughs> and was way out in front on all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, He's necking and petting and how far to go. Yeah. You know? and, <laughs> and when they start stroking. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, my in the years I grew up, there was no information. Nobody yeah. told you Same anything nothing. about anything. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing, I mean, my biggest charge, my grandfather was a doctor, and he had these, you know, books showing people with elephantiasis of the scrotum, or, you know, these black ladies with these, you know, titties that hung down to their knees and shit, and, and I never got deep into the reading, but, um, but otherwise, there was nothing. Nobody talked about anything, no discussions about anything. So, I mean, I didn't even, like, know about if anybody else is jerking off. You know, I'd, I'd have to test, test.
test people out. You know, after school, we'd be playing of course base, you'd have. baseball or something. I'd eventually go, well, I got to get home and jerk off. See you guys later. And somebody else say, I'll meet you. Okay, somebody else besides me. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, it was literally that abstract right. then. And, I mean, my concepts of biology or, you know, human physiology or whatever the fuck were so distorted. And I'll start off just by saying my introduction to sexuality, uh, it would be an arrestable offense at this point um, <laughs> by an older guy on the block. Mm -hmm. um, it would be considered uh, probably rape. What are they? What are child the, molestation. The, the name, yeah, child molestation, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I was kind of grateful. Um, and I made money <laughs> for it. And this guy would like suck my dick and... But he never did the pineal. No, the no, 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 he didn't. Because he, it, it ended kind of quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, I was interested. He was an older guy. And guys like to hang out with older guys. Because they know more and stuff. And plus, I was getting my dick sucked. And, and I didn't know anything about it. I don't ever remember even having a boner before this guy. I'm probably like eight years old, max, or something like that. Maybe nine or something. And it was summertime, so the guys on the block, he's like five, six years older, I, I guess. I didn't see him again. Well, I remember, like, I thought the boner thing was really cool. <laughs> I went mean, like, whoa, check it out. Which is weird to me because I think, you know, you change a little boy's diaper and he gets a boner. And it's, you know, always, but I have no memory of anything until that moment when the guy you know jerks me off and stuff and then he wanted me to do him and i didn't have any i didn't have any concept of anything being wrong or right or anything about this it felt good what he's doing to me and i remember like holding his dick you know, like it seemed quite huge to me and it also felt like a fish like just like when i went fishing and caught a fish and would have to take the hook out of its mouth and i hated that feeling i hated to feel the life in my hand when to take the hook out of it and it felt a lot like that and i just so i can't do it i get sorry just should have brought some hooks well yeah well it's like i just I, it just was too really weird it was one of those this you know like feeling things I couldn't do it. And that was fine with him. Did he lose he, interest in you after that? No, no, no. He was perfectly happy with you know the arrangement. Yeah. And we would go places in our hometown. There were places you, where there was never anybody there. You know, at certain times you knew that, whatever. But I had so little idea there was anything wrong with any of this that I thought this boner thing was really cool. And I remember going home, it had to be a Saturday because my dad was home. And I remember running around the house yelling, Dad, Dad! And, and finally, yeah, and finally, I, you know, I find him, he's like in the bathroom next to his bedroom upstairs in the middle of the day. And, you know, he's probably like stroking in there or something. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm yelling to me, he's going, watch, why, I'm in the bathroom. And I said, Dad, do you know what a boner is? <laughs> and there's just like, God, dead silence. And then and he goes, oh, uh, yes, it's I a mistake. You guys are recording this. It's, it's a, a mistake. Because you know how they used it back in those days? You know, he pulled the boner. He made a mistake. Uh, he fucked up. That was the common right. usage of that word. Right. And so, and I remember just laughing and going, no, not that kind, and walking away laughing, thinking this is funny, I know more than my dad. You know, like, <laughs> eh, nah. I just, and then like two days later, you know, my dad takes me aside and says, oh, Larry, your mom and I talked about it, and we are, oh, thank you, and we think you should play with, you know, people your own age, Ernie Bartlett seems a little old for you, people so, well, who can do? Yeah, no, we never talked about it. That was as far that as that as far one ever got. Okay, Dan, he said, don't play with Arnie Bartlett. So that was the end of Arnie Bartlett. Until my senior year in high school on Careers Day. And they had up on the stage somebody from the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, I like that. And, I'm, and the bone. And I'm looking at the sky and stage, and I'm like, I remember that duty used to suck my dick. Um, yeah. which, which, which of the force was he? Was he? Was yeah, he I think he was in the Air Force. Air Force. I think I'm not sure. I can't. I won't vouch for that. But I remember thinking that was funny. You know, now I'm seeing this guy after fucking who knows how many years later.
But yeah, and I mean that's my introduction. And I remember it's the things he told me. Here. <laughs> the things that he told me about, you know, were like because my my dick was straight out. Well, that's really cool. That's all I know. Um, and, and here's my concept of you know of physiology or whatever. Is I'm thinking, well, okay, if it goes straight out, I guess a girl goes straight in. Yeah. And uh, given that, following that line of logic, I thought, well, if you had a big enough dick, I guess it would go in her pussy and come out her ass. Sure. <laughs> <Happens> <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? I'm eight years old or something. I don't know. Or nine years old, but I'm like jerking off every day, you know. I'm like, now I got a habit, <laughs> et cetera. It was like sleeping pills or something. And, and, he, and I wasn't coming or anything, but I remember he told me, like, when you're older, if you keep doing this, it will, some juice will come out, which I imagine was going to be this green juice. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. But I imagine this green juice coming out. And then, I'm, and then, you know, because of my, you know, straight out thing, and then eventually, like, one day I noticed, like, oh, fuck, it's sticking up now. And I thought, oh, I broke it. Oh, shit, I'm jerking off too much. I broke the thing. It's like, everybody's going to know. Is it sticking up until I, like, when I go to sleep, I'd, like, push it down between my legs and lock it to try and bend it back. I love that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, nobody knew anything. <laughs> right, and no one's teaching you anything. Nobody knew And there's no anything. talking. Well, what do you think now about what's happening with the Internet? Like, they know, oh, like, some of the most God. stuff that I'm like, I would prefer. No, you can't come on my face. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's sexy. Like, I don't think that's sexy. I have done it once. I always try everything I always turn the porno like, I wonder, I wonder why, when the porno why do you guys want to grow this swallow? What the fuck do you care? Yeah. Well, I don't get it. I mean, but it's like some important thing. Power chipping, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah, um, right? Um, they all I can but there's a lot of worse things than that. It's oh, like the forcing well, yeah. a I, head, I noticed like some of that. Like being violent toward her while she's giving you a blowjob. Oh, 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 the whole her. thing is disgusting. Like, I think what the people are being... Ex what? It's so like that. But the I shit think, but so what disgusting. I think is happening right now is some people... I'm not... This is not to say that they don't like it, but I think that... There are people that are pretending to like things that they don't really like you because mean that is what I like. status. I watch Whoa. almost exclusively <laughs> lesbians. Period. Right? That's, That's all I basically watch. Sometimes they may run in because they turn, they channel you. It's really it's true. Like, oh no, I don't want to watch way. that. He's fucking yeah. honest. Yeah. His dick. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, yeah. 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 And, and so, but that's basically all I'm too. pretty I, much. I or masturbating, you know, a woman or masturbating. Or women, or women, women yeah. created porn. Like I've watched some porn that's women yeah. make the yeah. porn. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Me too. There's a whole. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Sometimes, sometimes it's it's, you but know, it usually but is usually a better. It's usually got a better attitude, but other stuff is disgusting. Just, you know, the general run of male so we've gone from stuff one, is we've grotesque. We've gone from one extreme to the other extreme, and that's I, the thing that's really I, sad. I actually hung out with a woman who Never. made that kind of porn. Mm -hmm. She had that famous porn store on San Pablo Avenue in Berkeley. Um, I can't remember what it's called, Pleasures or something. Everyone uh, yeah. went there. It was run by women. All women. I kind of like good vibrations. Good vibrations. That's it. Her okay. name's Joni. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I remember I'm making love with a 70 year old woman. It was Joni who ran that store, and she used to make those. Um, Good girl porn. Good girl porn. They did it. Like the company I think was called Cabin Fever. That yeah. was some of my earliest porn. It was the cabin. I think that was what they called one of her. <laughs> Maybe it's getting all this sound right on, baby. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I, oh, is cares? this a lot? No, I'm not worried. I'm no. just saying I don't think anyone's gonna be able to put this on public TV. He doesn't want for public TV. He did some strokes material. <laughs> oh yeah, right, right. We'll I actually about. played conga drums for the background <laughs> for one of the porn. <laughs> on I was on a porn set. For stroke a, to this one, man. For, it was like. A, um, the guy was doing one of those masturbations, like a hundred guys masturbate. Oh wow! And it was like it was on the set was for a, an S and M porn, and I was with this guy, and he's like, "I'm going to do." Oh, you're at this place while they're shooting. Well, he brought me into a shoot. It was like okay. at some wow. Victorian in San Francisco. Is that a joke? <laughs> well, I didn't watch his act, but I watched okay. another guy come in, and this lady named Linda Lick, and she's got the outfit and the hair and I the lips, <laughs> and she had him like, and he was wearing his little tidy whities and it was like amateur porn with the known dominatrix. So they known like, dominatrix, okay. In other words, so they were kind of doing this low budget whatever. So he wasn't a porn star, but he always wanted to be. 
and this whole experience there was like he's hang she's hanging him over the it was so unsexy there was yeah, nothing that sexy most about what was that's going how on. I find and most there's all these people in chairs all the people are in chairs all sitting around watching yeah. this scene I and I'm in the chair and the director kept saying to me don't you want to be in this don't you want to be in this and I was like no no yeah yeah sure let me bend over for a second you're wrestling and then and then the best part is so he like stops that scene and then they put this chair in it's like okay we're gonna do the the hundred jack off thing and one guy cool. after another right. and he gets there and he starts trying to get dick, his dick hard couldn't you get hard no and it was like 20 minutes and he had this no of course so embarrassing no i mean like, you know, i'm not saying there was anything wrong with him but it was like no, his it. fantasy it's, it's a weird and he's thing. finally doing it and he couldn't and in my mind i'm watching him going just stop just stop. You don't need to do this. I still I'm respect this you, but if you keep trying, trying, just stop. Just who knows? Stop. <laughs> and finally, he and his eyes were closed. He opens his eyes. They pop open. He stares right at me. And, and I was he like, realizes you, you you're on stop. your way out. Oh, I was like full ah. on psychically telling him this stuff. And then he goes back in. And then like a few minutes later, he's like, I can't do this. And the director's like, OK, cut. Boop. And no one at shamed him. There was nothing wrong. And then I was like, I said to the guy, I was like, dude, I'm out. Like, I don't want to watch you go through this. That will just ruin the last experience we just had. And I left. Buzz. I was like, oh my I had God. a porno almost, an almost porno experience once too. It was the middle of winter, like I hadn't gotten laid in fuck knows, probably a couple of years or something. And board broke and whatever, and my friend Joel Pennock calls me up and he goes, Kent Walsh, somebody I know from town, or used no. to know in town, he said, Kent Walsh wants us to come out to the Bunny Ranch. In, uh, what's it, in like Reno. Ranch in, yeah, 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 yeah. In Reno, he goes, wants us to come out. He's doing a TV show that's like a reality show. He wants you and I to come out there, and we're going to get $250. We're going to get laid. Um, and it's, it's not really as reality TV oh, as it's made out to right, be. Right, 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 right. And I said, it sounds almost too good to be true. Give me the number and I'll call Kent myself and make sure what the details on this are. Right. So I call, I call and, and I go, Kent, it's Larry Fuente. Um, Joel uh, Pennock just told me that um, you want us to come to Reno. You're going to pay us $250. We're going to get laid. I said, is any of this true? <laughs> And he goes, well, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, most of um, He goes, yeah, I'm going to pay you guys each $250, but you're not going to get laid. Joel's going to get laid, but and we're going to shoot you, like, in the bar, and you're going to ask one of the prostitutes, you know, how much, and she's going to tell you, and you're going to go, oh, no, no, that's too expensive. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's the image I want to send out to the world. Uh, says, I'm too cheap to pay for my prostitutes. <laughs> Sorry, Kent. Uh, maybe Joel. So uh, you got, I won't you got a sure. reputation to uphold. Whatever. I just, yeah, I just. This wasn't the image I wanted to send out. Yeah, to my fans or whatever. You, like, know. you don't spend enough money on my yeah, art. Yeah. I can't afford it. Yeah. Even if it is only 15 minutes. <laughs> even if well, it is only I mean, $10. I don't, I, and I don't remember. I, I mean, I'm always shocked when I hear how much things cost. Actually, anything now. I think you should go with the black lipstick. This is great. Yeah, the black lipstick. Yeah. Still? It, it's still really good. good. It yeah. came back. I think it came it's back a good from your tongue. Wow, I didn't... Oh, the my I didn't want it got reinfected. The, Captain, the, party, the party's <laughs> over, Larry. Say bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye Maynard. Bye, Ken. Bye, I'm Thank you, Maynard. Bye, I mean, except for Blake. Carpetonian. Oh, wait. Let me turn a little more this way. Oh, we do. I feel it. never done it before. You do? You guys did a great job. <laughs> and you got you sandwich. Which way? Which hurts my feelings more? I like that. What do you guys want Probably for the racist, background? But I like it. Back yeah. Um, the sky we the get like cross. the um, red square. Right. Like the onion goes. <laughs> Where's our green Nowadays, screen? you could ask for something like that. Gentlemen. I remember I was going to take my caddy to Russia. So I How about this for a background? get that photo before <laughs> I knew about Photoshop or anything. Am I supposed to be handing something to no, you? That's you're really cute. Like, oh, that's no, Nico's no. frog, huh? Mm, that's that's oh. Earth of the Turtle. Oh, Since that's you have so Earth of the Car, I thought you should know about Earth of the Turtle. Oh. She's a worm bin. She teaches oh, worms in school. I want to see it. Really? Yeah, I want to see Eartha. Yeah. Oh, this is the kit form you can get in the hobby store, yeah. right? There's that Earth chair, the Barry. Kit? There's, there's yeah. other yeah. chairs. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. You've heard the kit is also a <laughs> Earth car. woman musician. Yeah, that's right. I know who it is. Like, <laughs> Buckwinker. Yeah. Yeah.
good. Just tell him. Really? It's good, Larry. Really? What's your name again? I'm assuming that's, that's good. good. You got me on that. Like, like, nice. like, yeah. What was your name again, sir? Oh, yeah. What were you eating? Yeah, yeah I just ate an um, Oreo. Oh, my God. You got yeah, like, it looks like on, get the little other audio. corner. It, it looks like you can wearing. help me. It looked like Devo. No, yuck, your tongue's <laughs> all like scary. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Do yeah, Oreos normally scare you? Or the other one's black. Chew that first. It's pretty gnarly. You got any mouthwash on you? Have you ever read the ingredients in Oreos? Jesus, you should be scared of them too. Why would I do that? I enjoy them. Why would I read the ingredients? But he had like his whole mouth. I thought he was wearing like deep thing. burgundy lipstick. Because I just, I ate this girl, I just met her, I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? You ate some girl's Oreos, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I ate her Oreos. He organized her. Yeah, I was organizing her. <laughs> I mean, helping her get organized. <laughs> and then you left your light on. No, I Just joking, I'm just joking. No, just, you turned off too. This is, it's a new camera, it's a new toy. Toy! Yeah, we need more new toys. Right, right, right. Look, you got a car. I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Am I Thanks supposed to ask him questions? Yeah, yeah ask him oh. questions. Oh, yeah. Ask him something. Yeah, um. I asked him about how, where he got all the chocolate around his mouth. Yeah. Um, that was a question, but <laughs> what do I want to know? I what are you working on now, Larry? He's like, hey, Google, you can ask him anything. Um, can you change your mind? Um. Oh, about, about sleeping with you again? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> again? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a secret. Yeah, a big secret. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell all of his girlfriends. <laughs> I don't think I have any they girlfriends. They told me. He got a long line they of told them. me. A long line of girlfriends. But he, oh, yeah. he hates women. He does. I no, hate women? Don't hate no, he women. loves he women. women. He does. I was trying to pretend like you hated women. Yeah, yeah, I'm a massager. Massage. Massages. I hate the way they give me massages. I hate massages. Fuck. Wish they'd go to back to college or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I'm like one of those women haters. I do have a bunch of friends that I suspect are. Yes. Um, it's not that hard to spot, but they think they love women. Oh yeah, usually those are the ones that are the worst. I know. Yeah, That's I me. I'm, I'm well aware terrible of it. that way. It's kind of like who give a shit who sticks what and who's whole right? if everybody's happy on that <laughs> side who gives a shit, you know. <laughs> unless of course unless you're worried course, about you're course. worried about who you are. Right. Et cetera, et cetera. Right, right. You right. closet case. Et cetera. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Otherwise, who cares? Yeah. Well, I mean, some of us care because you end up with like diseases and stuff, and you know, speak about yourself. You don't know where that, I had that them once. Been. You know, I mean, I think that you care a little bit. You know? Well, yeah, of it course. It's, it, listen, the more information you have on pretty way. much any topic, probably the better and off you are. And how awful condoms are! Like condoms are gross. I've heard that. So I'd rather, um, I'd rather just skip it. <laughs> it's not terrible skip to say that. that. Well, no, I, I understand. That. Because I remember when I used to live in Marin, in Marvelous Marin, every time I got laid, I got what Some, they called an NSU, which is yes. the clap. By non Marin was kind of full of this. Non-specific <laughs> urethritis. Every <laughs> fucking time. And I'd go to the clinic. And in those days, they were still on penicillin at that point, up till they hit six million units of penicillin, which is two gigantic <laughs> horse shots right the with end. a right big end. needle of what? In the oh, end of the pen? Oh, no, no, for, for it, yeah, to cure your yeah, clap. Right and, right and, and it was about the thickness of thick yogurt, not uh, quite royal or yeah. whatever that. You know what was coming out of the end of this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, penicillin. Oh, no, I met the other, what gave you what the, the NSU? Oh, yeah, yeah I knew it. Where I got it? No, no. Dirt. I meant, what? I meant that you knew you had it because of what was coming out the end of your. Well, oh yeah, the drip the, you're yeah, talking about. Oh yeah. no, I thought maybe that was yogurt that was coming out. The end. <laughs> no, but yeah, there's a similarity. But you're there. But by the end of <laughs> yellow this, yogurt. But by the end of the nightmare, <laughs> I knew within hours. They say you know 12 to 72 hours before you even know you have yeah. a problem. <laughs> you Not. might. You might. Um, in my case, I was so familiar with this blood. shit. That I could feel the alien in my body instantly. within, well, not instantly, but within four or six hours. I'd feel the alien, I'd feel my antibody system just kick. 
and go, oh, God, you know, and know I got laid last night or, <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> and go, oh, fuck. And then it was, at first it wasn't too bad because San Rafael had a clap clinic run by Mrs. Denenkamp. And she was, she, yeah, Mrs. Denenkamp. And she was lovely. She's slapping the she, clap yeah, clinic. Yeah, exactly. Yes, of she course. was this English woman, you know, you'd go and she'd go, oh, how are we today, love, you know. And, stuff, and she was wonderful, you know, because people tended to shame people. No judgment of Yeah, no judgment, joy. none of that shit. I was, I was trying to get her to let me have a dating bureau, you know. <laughs> Just tell me when their medications are over. Yeah, you know, right. Blah, blah, blah. I know they're clean. Stuff I know like they're clean. That. Yeah, yeah. I'm clean. Let's yeah, all meet exactly, together. Exactly. As long as we know this. when we're done with our meds. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, and eventually, in the one of the weirdest, most uh, some diabolical. Yeah, here, here's some. Yeah, here's where it gets diabolical. Okay. It's when they they close the clap. Thing. For what reason, I will never know. Maybe they thought maybe it was when Vietnam ended or something. Because all morality, these, these weird. The no, I, I don't. Yeah, that could. be be. I have no idea why, because it was still a problem. <laughs> and and one day I, you know, I was like, I'm with somebody, and I'm getting really leery of sex or anything by this point. But oh well, I think I decided stick with married women, you know, like <laughs> like I thought that might help. Because their husbands <laughs> didn't help. Like, it did not help. It didn't help. It didn't help. <laughs> no, it did not help. Um, and, and, and I remember, you know, and the clinic's closed now, so I had to go to Marin Civic Center, you know, the Frank Lloyd Wright building. Oh, and things were not so, hello, how are we, love? Oh, how <laughs> At the Civic there? Center. And and I remember going in and saying, and it's like a big room with all these people in it, and the doctor doesn't even have like a fake little wall around his desk or anything, <laughs> you know, and so I sit down Pulling at down his desk pants. and he goes, you know, what, well, you know, what's the problem, you know, what, what are you, why are you here? And I said, I've got an NSU, I need to get it. By this time, they switched to tetracycline. Uh -huh. um, and after, you know, I, don't know, I can't tell you how many doses of tetracycline, but after enough of them to realize that it totally not just wipes out that disease, but your entire digestion, <laughs> yeah. um, and you're sick for two weeks or ten days, whatever, you know, and it's like, I can't, it isn't worth it, it isn't worth it. Um, and so I said to the doctor, I said, I've got an MSU, I need to get a shot of tetracycline. And he said, okay, well, you know, drop your pants, I need to get a, a swab. smear. Yeah, swab. And I said, it's too early for that. I said, but I have had this so many times that I'm really aware of my body, and I absolutely guarantee I have an NSU, it, but not the drip yet. That isn't going to hit for another 12 hours or 24 hours. I don't know when it's going to hit, but it's not here yet. And he goes, well, we can't prescribe you know medication for you prophylactically we have to be able to see the evidence they take a smear and then they go look under a microscope and they can see the critters and they dark what's that minute. yeah they can see these dark little crawling minute. things crawling around and then they can officially give you something for it and I said it's too early for that and he goes oh well we can't I can't prescribe for you unless you know I see the evidence and and then he kind of pondered, and he said, well, um, okay, just drop your pants and, like, just lean against the desk there. And I went, <laughs> okay. And I was, like, 21 or something. I didn't know shit about shit, nothing about anything. I no, I didn't go how innocent I was. But in any case, I didn't know shit. And so, and I'm like, okay. Well, I don't know what. Well, I'm sort of leaning against the desk, and I see him, like, turn away. You know, and like he reach, he's reaching in his drawer. I have no idea what he's doing, right? And I'm kind of curious, but I still have no idea what's coming. <laughs> and uh, so I, you know, stop looking at him because I don't know what the fuck he's doing. And all of a sudden, his finger comes flashing up my ass, and I like blew a load all over his desk. <laughs> And, and, and I'm like, whoa, my legs, you know, like melting wax or some shit like this. 
and I'm, and I'm startled, you know. And, and all the people are watching. So just, oh, man, I'm just startled. No I'm totally startled. And I go, I think I love you. you know? But, you know, I mean, I, that's a lie. But, um, so he started going back there all the time? What? He no. Going um, uh, I think I got something. I'm going to the doctor with the glass. Yeah, no, but yeah, exactly. No, but in, oh, God. In, in, so yeah. I didn't know what a prostate was or any of that shit. But, and I did go, what was that? <laughs> and he got kind of embarrassed, you know, and he said, oh, it's just something we do that we got a sample. They didn't want to explain it to me. You know, like that. And I, and I went home thinking, what the fuck was that shit? Maybe I, that's what the homos are doing. I don't know. What the fuck sticking shit up my ass to I, figure out what the fuck it was. You kept trying to make it happen again. Well, uh, I wanted to see what it was. I mean, it was a real surprise. It wasn't like I didn't even have a boner. Back he up still the blew a load all over his desk. <laughs> Did it feel good? Was it a feeling? Fuck Yes, okay. it felt okay. good. <laughs> just wanted to make sure. I mean, I didn't know. If there was no more. Well, it was not even. It still it was, felt good. Well, there's two separate things happening there. <laughs> just to be informational. Just making sure. I don't They're know. Very, I don't know why yeah, of course you wouldn't know. know would. But I'm telling you, there are two separate things happening there. One is up your butt, and the other one is coming out your dick. So, and they're yeah, related. Were you, were you, able, they're related. Were you able to figure it out at some point? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Oh yeah, I did a little research. Did it take you a while, or was it pretty immediate? <laughs> yeah, it's a research. Well, I went home and started sticking my finger up my ass to figure out what the fuck that was. Yeah. Um, and and I wasn't very successful with that. But I was thinking maybe that's what the homos are doing. Then so then you went out. No, I didn't do anything. I just trying to figure out. Then I read something, Ann Landers or something probably. Ann you know, Landers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, about a prostate, a about your orgasm. prostate gland. Yeah. What's that? Man <laughs> was way out in front on all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> necking and petting and how far to go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, and when they start stroking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, actually, yeah, my that I would, I don't want to that. in the years I grew up, there was no information. Nobody yeah. told you Same anything nothing. about anything. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing, I mean, my biggest charge, my grandfather was a doctor, and he had these, you know, books showing people with elephantiasis of the scrotum, or, you know, <laughs> these black ladies with these, you know, titties that hung down to their knees and shit, and, and I never got deep into the reading, but, um, but otherwise, there was nothing. Nobody talked about anything, no discussions about anything. So, I mean, I didn't even, like, know about if anybody else is jerking off. You know, I'd, I'd have to test test people out. You know, after school, we'd be playing of course base, you'd baseball or something. I'd eventually go, well, I got to get home and jerk off. See you guys later. And somebody else would say, yeah, me too. You know, okay, and somebody else besides me. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, it was literally that abstract right. then. And, I mean, my concepts of biology or, you know, human physiology or whatever the fuck were so distorted. And I'll start off just by saying my introduction to sexuality, uh, it would be an arrestable offense at this point um, <laughs> by an older guy on the block. Mm -hmm. um, it would be considered uh, probably rape. What are they? What are child the, the name? Yeah, child molestation. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. I was kind of grateful, um, and I made money <laughs> <laughs> for it. And this guy would like suck my dick and. So but he never did the perennial. No, 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 he didn't because <laughs> it, it ended kind of quickly. Um, yeah, I mean, I was interested. He was an older guy. And guys like to hang out with older guys because they know more and stuff. And plus, I get my dick sucked. And, and I didn't know anything about it. I don't ever remember even having a boner before this guy. I'm probably like eight years old, max, or something like that. Maybe nine or something. And it was summertime, so the guys on the block, he's like five, six years older, I, I guess. I didn't see him again. Well, I remember, like, I thought the boner thing was really cool. <laughs> I went like, whoa, check it out. Which is weird to me because I think, you know, you change a little boy's diaper and he gets a boner. And it's, you know, whiz. But I have no memory of anything until that moment when the guy, you know, jerks me off and stuff. And then he wanted me to do him. And... 
I didn't have any. I didn't have any concept of anything being wrong or right or anything right. about this. It felt good what he's doing to me. And I remember like holding his dick and like it seemed quite huge to me, and it also felt like a fish. <laughs> like just like when I went fishing and caught a fish and would have to take the hook out of its mouth, and I hated that feeling. I hated to feel the life in my hand when to take the hook out of it. It felt a lot like that, and I just so I can't. Uh, I get sorry. Should have brought some hooks, Larry. Well, yeah. Well, that's like I just I, it just was too really weird. It was one of those vis you know like feeling things I just couldn't do, it. and that was fine with him. Did he lose interest in you after that? No, no, no. He was. Perfectly happy with you know the arrangement, yeah. and we would go places in our hometown. There were places you, where yeah, there was I'll never anybody there. You know, certain times you knew that, whatever. But I had so little idea there was anything wrong with any of this that I thought this boner thing was really cool. And I remember going home. It had to be a Saturday because my dad was home. And I remember running around the house yelling, "Dad, Dad!" And, and finally, yeah, and finally I. You know, I find him, he's like in the bathroom next to his bedroom upstairs in the middle of the day. And, you know, he's probably like stroking in there or something. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm yelling to me, he's going, watch, why, I'm in the bathroom. And I said, Dad, do you know what a boner is? <laughs> and there's just like, God, dead silence. And then and he goes, Oh, uh, yes. It's I a mistake. You guys are recording this. It's, it's a, a mistake. Because you know how they used it back in those days? You know, he pulled the boner. He made a mistake. Uh, he fucked up. That was the common uh, right. usage of that word. Right. And so, and I remember just laughing and going, no, not that kind. And walking away laughing, thinking this is funny. I know more than my dad. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. I just, and then like two days later, you know, my dad takes me aside and says, Oh, Larry, your mom and I talked about it, and we are, oh, thank you. And we think you should play with, you know, people your own age, only about what seems a little old for you. People so, your own well, age is okay, dad. You yeah, know, we never talked about it. That was as far that as that one ever got. Okay, dad. And he said, don't play with Arnie Bartlett. So that was the end of Arnie Bartlett. Until my senior year in high school on Careers Day. And they had up on the stage. Somebody from the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, like that. And, I'm, and the bone. And I'm looking at this guy on stage and I'm like, I remember that dude, he used to suck my dick. Um, yeah. which, which, which of the force was he? Was he in yeah, I think he was in the Air Force. Air Force. I think, I'm not sure, I can't, I won't vouch for that. But I remember thinking that was funny. You know, now I'm seeing this guy after fucking who knows how many years later. But yeah, and then that's my introduction. And I remember it's the things he told me. Here. <laughs> the things that he told me about, you know, were like, because my, my dick was straight out. Well, that's really cool. That's all I know. Um, and, and here's my concept of, you know, of physiology, or whatever, is I'm thinking, well, okay, if it goes straight out, I guess a girl goes straight in. Yeah. And uh, given that, following that line of logic, I thought, well, if you had a big enough dick, I guess it would go in her pussy and come out her ass. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Happens I don't know. What the fuck? I'm eight years old or something. I don't know. Or nine years old. But I'm like jerking off every day, you know. I'm like, now I got to have this, et cetera. It was like sleeping pills or something. And, and, he, and I wasn't coming or anything, but I remember he told me, that, like, when you're older, if you keep doing this, it will, some juice will come out, which I imagine was going to be this green juice. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. But I imagine this green juice coming out. And then, I'm, and then, you know, because of my, you know, straight out thing, and then eventually, like, one day I noticed, like, oh, fuck! It's sticking up now. And I thought, oh, I broke it. Oh, shit, I'm jerking off too much. I broke the thing. And so I never was going to know because it's sticking up. And so I, like, when I'd go to sleep, I'd, like, push it down between my legs and lock it to try and bend it back. I love that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, nobody knew anything. <laughs> right, no one's teaching you anything. Nobody knew anything. And there's no anything. talking. Well, what do you think now about what's happening with the Internet? Like, they know... Oh, like some of the most God. stuff that I'm like, I would prefer. No, you can't come on my face. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's sexy. Like I don't think that's that, sexy. I have done it once. I always try everything. I once. always turn the porn. Like, I wonder. I wonder why. When the porn why do guys want to grow the swallow? What the fuck? 
what the fuck do you care? Yeah. Well, I don't get it. I mean, but it's like some important thing. Power chipping, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. I don't know what else it would be. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah, um, right. Um, all I can but figure But there's is, a lot of worse things than that. It's oh, like the well, a yeah, I, head, I noticed like some of that. Like being violent toward her while she's so, giving you a blow. So all of it. Oh, the whole her. thing is disgusting. Like, I think what the people are being... Ex- what? It's some so people like that. Watching but I shit think, but so what disgusting. I think is happening right now is some people... I'm not, this is not to say that they don't like it, but I think that there are people that are pretending to like things yeah. that they don't really like you because mean that is the status quo. I, like. I watch Whoa. almost exclusively <laughs> lesbians, money. period. Right? That's, That's all I basically watch. Sometimes they may run in because they turn, they channel you. It's really it's true. Like, oh, no, I don't want to watch way. that. You fucking want to see his dick. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'm so, more but that's basically all I'm too. pretty much. Or masturbating, that. you know, a woman or masturbating. Women, or women, women yeah. created porn. Like, I've watched some porn that's women yeah. make the yeah. porn. Right. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, me too. There's a whole. Yeah. It's sexier. Hey. Right? Sometimes, sometimes it's. it's you know, but it usually but is usually, a better. It's usually, usually got a better attitude. But other stuff is disgusting. Just, you know, the general run I, I, of male So we've gone from one, we've gone from test. one extreme to the other extreme, and that's I, the thing that's really I, sad. I actually hung out with a woman who never made that kind of porn. Mm-hmm. She had a famous porn store on San Pablo Avenue in Berkeley. Um, I can't remember what it's called, Pleasures or something. Everyone no went there it was run by women. All women. I kind of like Good Vibrations. Good Vibrations, that's it. Her okay. name's Joni. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I remember I'm making love with a 70 year old woman. It was Joni who ran that store, and she used to make those um, good girl porn. Good girl porn. That did it. Like the company I think was called Cabin Fever. That was yeah. some of my earliest porn. It was the cabin. I think that was what they called one of her. Yeah, maybe it's getting all the sound right on, baby. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I, oh, who is cares? this a loud? No, I'm not worried. I'm no. just saying I don't think anyone's gonna be able to put this on public TV. He doesn't want for public TV. He needs some stroke material. Oh yeah, right, right. We'll I talk actually about. played conga drums for the background for one of the porns. <laughs> on I was on a porn set. For stroke a, to this one, man. It was like a um, the guy was doing one of those masturbations, like a hundred guys masturbate. Oh, wow. And it was like it was on the set was for a, an S and M porn, and I was with this guy, and he's like, I'm going to do. Oh, this you're sh- at this place while they're shooting. Well, he brought me into a shoot. It was like okay. at some wow. Victorian in San Francisco. Is that a joke? <laughs> well, I didn't watch his act, but I watched okay. another guy come in, and this lady named Linda Lick, and she's got the outfit and the hair and the lips, <laughs> and she had him like, and he was wearing his little tidy whities and it was like amateur porn with the known dominatrix. So they known like, dominatrix. Okay. In other words, so they were kind of doing this low budget whatever. So he wasn't a porn star, but he always wanted to be. And this whole experience, there was like he's hang, she's hanging him over the. It was so unsexy. There was yeah, nothing sexy about what was that's going on. And there's all these people in chairs. These all these people are in chairs, all sitting around watching yeah. this scene. I and I'm in the chair, and the director kept saying to me, "Don't you want to be in this? Don't like, you want to be, be in this?" And I was like, "No, no." Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Let me bend over for a second. I'm using your Vaseline. And then the best part is, so he like stops that scene, and then they put this chair in. It's like, okay, we're gonna do the the hundred jack off thing, and. One guy Ooh. after another, right. and he gets there and he starts trying to get a dick, his dick hard. Couldn't he get hard? No, and it was like 20 minutes, hard, and he had this. No, of course So embarrassing. No, I mean, like, you know, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with him, but it was no, like his fantasy. It. It's, it's a weird. And he's thing. finally doing it, and he couldn't. And in my mind, I'm watching him going, just stop. Just stop. You don't need to do this. I still I'm respect this you, but if you keep trying, trying, just stop. Just who stop. Knows? <laughs> and finally, he and his eyes were closed. He opens his eyes. They pop open. He stares right at me. And, and I was he like, you, you you're on stop. your way out. Oh, I was like full ah. on psychically telling him this stuff. And then he goes back in. And then like a few minutes later, he's like, I can't do this. And they're just like, okay, cut. Boop. And no one at- shamed him. There was nothing wrong. And yeah, then I was next. like, I said to the guy, I was like, dude, I'm out. Like, I don't want to watch you go through this. That will just ruin the last experience we just had. And I left. But I was like, oh my I God. had a porno almost, an almost porno experience once too. It was the middle of winter, like I hadn't got laid in fuck knows, probably a couple of years or something. And board broke and whatever. And my friend Joel Pennock calls me up and he goes, Kent Walsh, somebody I know from town, or used no. to know in town, he said, Kent Walsh wants us to come out to the Bunny Ranch. In, uh, what's it, in like Reno. Ranch in, yeah, 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 yeah. In Reno, he goes, wants us to come out. He's doing a TV show that's like a reality show. He wants you and I to come out there 
and we're going to get $250. We're going to get laid. Um, and it's it's not really as reality TV oh, as it's made out right, to be. Right, 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 right. And I said, it sounds almost too good to be true. Give me the number and I'll call Kent myself and make sure what the details on this are. Right. So I call I call and, and I go, Kent, it's Larry Fuente. Um, Joel uh, Pennock just told me that um, you want us to come to Reno. You're going to pay us $250. We're going to get laid. I said, is any of this true? And he goes, well, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, most of um, He goes, no, I'm going to pay you guys each $250, but you're not going to get laid. Joel's going to get laid, but and we're going to shoot you like in the bar. And you're going to ask one of the prostitutes, you know, how much? And she's going to tell you, and you're going to go, oh, no, no, that's too expensive. <laughs> and I said, oh, that's the image I want to send out to the world. Uh, says, I'm too cheap to pay for my prostitutes. <laughs> Sorry, Kent. Uh, maybe Joel will show up. You got, I won't you got a reputation showing. to uphold. Whatever. I just, yeah, I just, this wasn't the image I wanted to send out, yeah, to my fans or whatever. Like, yeah. You don't spend enough money on my yeah, art. Yeah. I can't afford it. Yeah. Even if it is only 15 minutes. <laughs> Even if well, it is only I mean, $10. I don't, I, and I don't even remember. I, I mean, I'm always shocked when I hear how much things cost. Actually, anything now. I think he should go with the black lipstick. This is great. He's yeah, getting the black it. lipstick. Yeah. Still, it, it's, it's really good. It yeah. came back. I think it came it's back from your tongue. Well, how? I didn't. Oh, like I didn't want. It got reinfected. Captain, by the party. The party's <laughs> over. Larry, say bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye Maynard. Bye, bye, kids. Bye, I'm Thank you, Maynard. Bye, you're the greatest. I mean, except for Blake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Let me turn a little more this way. Oh, oh. I've never done it before. Did you? You guys did a great job. <laughs> hey, we got you sandwich. Hey. Which way? Which hurts my feelings more? Uh Form. It, it's just such a rare thing that I thought, oh my um, god, this is... Well, there was... Oh, go ahead. Does anyone need gas besides... Who needs gas? I do. Well, I want to say that if we go 10 miles up, there's cheap gas, or here is expensive gas. Very. Most expensive okay. in the nation. It, well, Point Arena is pretty right there with it. Point Arena is very uh, I, I know they list it every week. Uh, what the most expensive gas in the nation is. So here you're going to spend got it locked like up another... Here. like. You for know, real. Maybe gas uh -huh. is like three ninety eight. Here it's gonna be like four fifty. Oh. Just letting you know. Well, oh, you're gonna burn a gallon going up and back. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah, but I think you'll be better off. I'd go to Puerto Rico. How far are you going? Puerto Rico and beyond. Alright, I'm gonna go join.
I do that all the time. Drive off and shit on top of my car. It all goes flying out in the street. I look in the rear view, I see things bouncing. So, so where are you going to drive to now? We're headed out to Point Arena. Nice. And then on to uh, Vallejo. Tonight to Vallejo? No, uh, Vallejo, this one's not going until uh, Tuesday. Cool. A couple days. Ooh, I like that steering wheel. I do not. Yeah. I have no idea. That's nice. I like this the grip the end of it. That's a lot of action here for old men. What kind of car is this one? No, this is a Mopar. Uh, uh, yeah, this is Derek's car. He's in the Cadillac there. What is this? A Subaru? Or something? No, it's it's a Mopar. Mopar. Uh, it's a Dodge. Dodge. Yeah, Dodge Chrysler. Oh, Dodge. A little One slant of the, six. The Iacocca thing. We got a six in it. Thing with slant six. Yes. Yeah, nice. I think it's fine. Derek knows more about it. That's his car. Nice. Man. Yeah, I'm sure that. Uh, where's that you guys did that? Try to keep up with you, Larry Puentes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I know. I understand. <laughs> I mean, an apple on the way home. Maybe I'll eat some awesome. Maynard, thanks for doing this, man. I'm rolling here. Right? Oh, you're still rolling. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, yeah. We've she was just going to strip. She always takes her pants off before she gets oh, in yeah, the Oh, yeah, that's star. what I do. I like to ride to drive with yeah. pantsless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I saw it once. I got, I got, a, I got a folder. It actually reminds you of the time. Oh, Nico gave when me a big I, oh, cool. sale. Oh, when I ran Nico, through the Fort Bragg. Yeah, man. You need some water, Barry? Find me a barn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course he does. Hopefully the cap's already been removed. <laughs> you still got the bar hanging in your living room? Uh, no, I've got something else, but you know, I'm not really doing as much trapeze not stuff as, as much, I used to. Eh? Because I, I, I'm still doing yoga. Everybody's already seen it all. my shoulders, I didn't uh, want to hurt myself. And yeah, I stopped yeah, yeah. training as hard. Did you hurt yeah, your shoulders? Yeah, well, you don't want the tendons all pulling apart. Exactly. <laughs> We're gonna go to the gas station. Okay, I'll see you guys there. Right. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Do you want to fill up your water bottle with this water? I gotta wait. Oh, yeah. Bye, Amanda. Bye. I hug you again. I'll hug you again. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to hug the camera. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you, thank you. We don't try hard. <laughs> okay. Call us. Thank you. Bye. Thank thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I live here. Thank I'm you. always here. Okay. Hey, hey, Larry, one more. You Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping it alive, Larry Fuente. No, I don't think it is. I think it's an illusion. Oh, don't say it. <laughs> it's okay, it's alive. Oh, the mirror it's still exists. Alive. There is a mirror. A mirror? A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. Is that what you just said? Mirror? Air. Air? A what? mirror. It's a new mirror. You guys want to make sure I don't get caught in some like... Meteor? Yeah, I'll walk that. with you. What Where do you want to go? Get back to the street? I want to go that way, but I don't want to... That's a nice oh, throwing sounding. I'll bet you know, there's, there's, there's a story out there. 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 Me, but yeah, that I got this get... car go like crazy. That mm -hmm. looks like it. Oh, yeah, no, just put your foot on the floor. ABS. You guys got to get out Stab it and steer. Oh, oh, automatic oh. braking system. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it puts its own brakes on. That's only if your foot's on the floor. Stab it and steer, baby. Where are you going, Larry? Oh. To my house, I guess. Okay, you ride? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs>